We're getting new details about a crash that killed a woman and left a young child clinging to a fence inches from falling onto the interstate. It happened last night near the I-10 and 51st Avenue. ABC 15's Patrick Hayes with the hero who helped rescue that child. Police say a drunk driver is accused of killing a woman and hurting two others, including a young boy. It's a 1962 Avenue on I-10. Police say 22-year-old Dre Lewis had a blood alcohol level more than twice the legal driving limit when he smashed into another car Wednesday night on 51st Avenue near I-10. <laughs> a witness says he saw Lewis's car driving with a blown out tire. You can hear the rim on the road just... Police say Lewis ran a red light and smashed into another car. He only has minor injuries, but the other driver and his passengers were taken to the hospital. One of those passengers, 38 year old Debbie Raquel Alvarez, did not survive. According to police, that boy was ejected from the car and remains in the hospital. Meanwhile, a witness says he found that boy on a guardrail. When we walked up to kind of see and make sure everything was okay, um, my buddy seen Something what he saw was thought as a dog on top of the, the guardrail over there where it hangs over for the road so no one can get over. And he looked up, he thought it was a dog, and we noticed that it was a baby. And the baby was barely moving and he started to gasp and you know come back too and started moving. So my friend kind of grabbed him a little bit so he didn't roll over onto the highway. Incredible efforts to try and save that child. As for Lewis, after getting out of the hospital, he was arrested and charged with manslaughter and extreme DUI. Reporting in Phoenix, Patrick Hayes, ABC 15, Arizona.